the current state of affairs, but there's a, a very old video on YouTube of you running down on a guy who, from what I could tell, seems like he's somewhat of a, a known guy. His name was Night Owl. You gave him the business. A lot of people didn't like that shit. Really? What 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 caused that scenario in the first place? Uh, rest in peace, Night Owl. Oh, he passed. Okay. Rest in peace, Night Owl. Night Owl was a fucking legend. Mm. You feel me? When it comes to the Chicano rap shit and our demographic, he was a legend, homie. Where was he from? San Diego. Okay. San Diego. But you know, it comes it comes down to like those those instances where like. Are we being embraced by the big homies or are we being deterred by the big homies? Mm. You know, and it's easy to be like, you know, fuck you. This is my game, you know? And that's the vibe he was giving you? That's 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 the vibe that, yeah, that's the vibe that we got. It was like, um, I don't know. I We, we had a session. We had a session. Uh, we had a session set up to work together. And I and I was very excited about this, you know. He had like legendary cocaine. Shout out cocaine. My 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 big dog cocaine, my my car my carnilio. I thought you were saying they just had a shitload of cocaine. Okay. No, no. Right. The cocaine the musician, homie, the, Got the it. legendary cocaine. I was surprised you were gonna just talk about that so freely. <laughs> and um, you know, he had a lot of these accolades under his belt that were you know, to admire. You know, he worked with a lot of legends, you mm. know what I'm saying? And so uh you know, reaching out and trying to connect and trying to get make that connection. It was like I don't know. He probably thought like oh, these fools, fuck these guys. Mm. And so he ne he said he would come, and we you know like we sitting here waiting for him. He never came. Ah. So he, you know he's me. Hey, well, I'll be there next week for sure, for sure, for sure. Friday, expect me there. Friday came again. Paid the engineer. Nobody came. Mm. So. There and was, and that's uh, like, if you don't fuck with me, just just let me know, you know. So it wasn't just that. Well, that fine, you couldn't make it, but whatever. Right. But uh, there was a uh, the internet was starting to pop off. It was barely popping off, and our little blogs were were coming up. And for our genre, we had Chicano blogs pushing our our music. Mm -hmm. And I remember going on this blog, you know, I try to go on these blogs and post my links and, you know, like, go, you know, like communicate with folks and go whatever the fuck, you know. And I remember seeing like a, a, a post on the blog, something, and someone hit me up. Hey, fool, you see what night I was writing on there? Like, you writing some reckless shit. Like, uh, I think you you hanging out with his girl or something like that. Or, well, you know, somebody he was he was fond of or, or, or talked to or something. She was hanging out with us. She was a homegirl. She was good people. And the homie, you know, that was his his friend. They did they think. I don't know what, you know, mm -hmm. what that relationship was about. But she come and it was, you know, all respectful. And but he didn't like that shit. He didn't like that. And so he he made it his business to be like, hey, you, you fools, you know, like if I see that you guys are around, and I was like, man, you motherfucking motherfucker, like. You got the audacity. You didn't even show up. I mean, what do you mean? Now you like writing me on the internet? Mm. What weird shit is this? You know? And I didn't believe it. I saw this stuff and I thought that's anybody. That's not the homie. But it was. He went on an interview, and then now he's like, yeah, he's, you know, these new little rappers out here think they hard. And mm. and at the time we started like documenting what we were doing, our shows, our events, all the street teaming, uh, uh where we were at. And we'd compile it on a DVD if we went to, you know, Japan. We were filming that shit and putting DVDs together with the soundtracks. I yeah. mean, we were working on you know I me. Mean? And apparently that was, you know, like all oh, these guys make, you know, doing their little DVDs, thinking they cool, they ain't shit. And they sat in the other night, the fuck, on me. What the fuck? So you end up seeing him at this event? You went there So I ended up seeing him at a studio. Right. And, uh... From what from what I was relayed, it was like, hey, he's here, uh, he's with some people, uh, they they probably strapped up, and I'm like, well, then you slap the shit out on me. Oh no no no, and I, this guy. Oh, so there we go. And when we ran in there, it was like two regular ass people, like some white boy, 
some youngsters, some black, some white boy, and and then him sitting on the couch, and I was like, fuck, homie, like, you fools might want to leave, you know, like, that way, you know, and the homies take the homie that way, and, you know, the little homie comes in, I go, record this shit. What year are we talking? Oh, fuck. I don't, I don't. 2005, okay. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we in there, and, and yeah, the homie shook. He's fucking shook. Fucking Walter was like, damn, you know? And and the way it's portrayed, it's like, well, oh, all these fools came in and punked them. But it, it's oh, just you, you in this face. You know? It's just uh, you running up to him, though. It's like it was, the other people it, yeah, were just kind of off to the side. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So it wasn't like everyone was trying to fuck them up. Everyone was so busy that, you know, like, it was my prerogative to get with you. It was my prerogative. And when and when I seen, I told him, come, fool, we're going to go outside. He was like, nah, nah, like, I ain't going outside with you. And he sat there. And he sat there, you know. I was like, come on, fool, we're going outside. And he didn't want to. So at that point, I thought, fuck, fool, this was a killer. This was a fucking killer. Like, I felt so... Maybe betrayed mm. of the fondness I had for for what he was doing and representing that 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 I thought I'm not gonna punch him. Now I'm gonna slap him like a bitch. And you're right about him not standing up because I was watching that just thinking like as a reminder, if there's ever a scenario where it feels like somebody's gonna hit me, you better fucking stand up. Like you can't just be sitting down that because that makes you like defenseless, you know. Sad. God bless the dead. I didn't even know he was sad, dead. Sad, yeah. you know, like, sad because I'm not, I mean, if we could have mended that and he could have been my big homie mm. and he could have guided me and he could have uh, pushed me in the direction that he knew I was trying to go, then it would have been a different outcome. Mm. It, 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 if he would have embraced me and loved me, then that, that wouldn't have, none of that would have, developed you feel me mm. i had a lot of respect and love for him you know anyone that i meet it's like it's like the teacher at school you get an a you get an a you got an a you got an a you got an a then you start fucking nothing they got a b you fuck up some more you got a c mm. and a f get the fuck away from me you know and i try my best on me i try to be a go homie you know i made mistakes i apologize you know you and, him, you and him never connected after that incident? You nah, never... he hated me forever for really? that. I ruined his life for me. Oh, really? That yeah. fucked up his career? I, oh, Damn. You know? And, and I got a lot of heat for it. People mm. hated me for it. And that's that was the beginning of my, of my stigma of, man, that fucking asshole. Too gangster to fuck with. Fuck that. I don't know. But, like, fucking people are probably asshole. saying that, right? Like. I don't know. Maybe. He's, he's I don't too know. street. He might he might fuck somebody up. He and might. that and that led to other encounters and other issues. And then, I don't, and then at that point, I thought, ah, fuck it. I'm the most hated. I'll eat that. Mm. Fuck it. Fuck it. Right. You know? And then it just, you just cutting yourself off from opportunities People know you as what you're perceived to be. People talk about you as being something that you're not. Just like with that hype with, you know, when the when we talked, mm. it's like, oh, that guy. The guy that went into the, to chase that. And it's like, homie, you know, like, uh, uh, I'll eat it. Was, I ain't tripping on none of that. You when, you, when you first made that video uh, going at 6 9 what was the... 